anxiety Filling up every space, no privacy uh, And silently, you can build a build until you finally see Whoa, it's taking over, damn no closure Moving closer, no exposure I just wanna be a loner uh, Some can't stay sober, looking over all their shoulders Like moving boulders just to get out of the home It sucks, I've had enough I don't wanna feel the stuck Under the rug, all my problems that I shove in May 2023, a bomb exploded next to the Prosecutor General's motorcade in Bulgaria. Initially, the prosecutor claimed that the explosion was massive with a fireball over 4 meters high. However, it was later revealed that the explosion didn't even cause a dent or a scratch in the prosecutor's bulletproof car. This led even the most reputable mainstream media to uh, speculate whether this incident had been staged to boost the prosecutor's declining popularity, which had suffered after years of protests after his failure to prosecute any high-level corruption in Bulgaria. In a strange twist of fate, it was discovered that an Israeli explosives expert had arrived in Bulgaria just hours before the blast. This expert, a close personal friend of the prosecutor, somehow got in contact with him right after the explosion had happened. The prosecutor then personally invited him to the blast site just hours after the explosion had taken place. Despite this being completely against protocol, to uh, bring in outside people to crime scenes and he did this because he wanted to draw on this expert's expertise in explosives. The investigation later revealed that the explosives used in this attack were the very same PETN explosives that was used in the Pager attack in Lebanon. Why would Bulgaria assist Israel in attacking Hezbollah in a way that was deemed illegal by Human Rights Watch, the UN and several international experts in the rules of war? This indiscriminate attack resulted in many casualties, including children, basically an attack which many would consider terrorism and any such involvement could potentially put Bulgaria in Hezbollah's cross sites. Could this have been an act of revenge? In July 2012, a terrorist attack targeted a passenger bus transporting Israeli tourists at Burgas Airport in Bulgaria. The bus was carrying 42 Israelis from the airport to their hotels when an explosion killed the Bulgarian bus driver and 5 Israelis, injuring 32 other Israelis. Immediately after the attack, before any investigation had been conducted, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu accused Hezbollah of carrying out the attack with support from Iran. Both Iran and Hezbollah denied any involvement, rejecting their accusations as baseless. In February 2013, Bulgarian Interior Minister Tvedan Tvedanov stated that there was well-grounded evidence that Hezbollah was behind the attack, citing the two suspects who held Canadian and Australian passports had lived in Lebanon. However, in June 2013, the new Bulgarian Foreign Affairs Minister Christian Vijenin declared that there was no conclusive evidence implicating Hezbollah in the attack. Again, in, in July 2013, the newly appointed Bulgarian Interior Minister Tvedelin Yovtsev stated that there were clear signs that Hezbollah was involved in the Burgas bombing. Based on forged documents used by the perpetrators that were allegedly facilitated by a man with ties to Hezbollah. Despite these claims, Hezbollah's involvement was never conclusively proven in a court of law. Could Bulgaria's involvement in the Pager attacks be some kind of misguided revenge for what its secret services perceived as an attack from Hezbollah?
On September 17, thousands of handheld pages exploded simultaneously across Lebanon in what was claimed to be an Israeli attack. So far, 42 people have been confirmed killed, including at least 12 civilians, two of them children and two confirmed Hezbollah members, with over 2,750 people wounded. In the aftermath, it became clear that the Hungarian company BAC Consulting had been involved in selling the pages to Lebanon. However, the company CEO implicated a Bulgarian company in the trade, claiming they were merely middlemen in a transaction actually initiated by a Bulgarian company, not the Hungarian company originally accused of manufacturing the explosive pages. Local media reported that the Bulgarian company Norte Global LTD facilitated the sale of the pages claiming they were sent from Bulgaria to Lebanon and that 1.6 million euros related to the transaction had passed through Bulgaria before being sent to Hungary. Two days after these media reports, the Bulgarian Secret Service announced that they had investigated the matter while they confirmed that the 1.6 million euros did in fact pass through Bulgaria they claimed that no pages had actually passed through the country according to customs records and definitively stated that Bulgaria was not involved in the incident. Investigative media in Bulgaria raised concerns, noting that the Bulgarian secret services, usually known for taking years to complete investigations, had reached a conclusion in just two days, leading to suspicions of a possible cover-up. They argued that sending pages to Hezbollah, which is sanctioned by the EU, would not have been possible without the involvement of the secret services themselves. So could this have been a covert operation involving the secret services of Israel, Bulgaria and possibly Hungary? I don't know. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching this guys. Please if you like this subscribe to my channel and leave a like to the video.